The harsh winds of Exoplanet X-117 howled across the barren landscape, battering the reinforced walls of the terraforming base. Inside, Nova Shen stood before the command center's panoramic window, her eyes fixed on the swirling red dust beyond. The hostile planet had been her home for the past three years, a desolate rock chosen for humanity's ambitious interstellar colonization project. As lead terraforming engineer, Nova bore the weight of transforming this alien world into a habitable oasis. Yet lately an inexplicable unease had settled over her, a gnawing feeling that something wasn't right with their mission. Behind her, the low hum of machinery filled the air as her team worked tirelessly at their stations. Sage Lennox, the base's chief biologist, poured over data streams detailing the planet's slowly evolving atmosphere. Across the room, Arden Cole, head of security, ran diagnostics on the base's defense systems, his face a mask of concentration. Tessa Lang, their communications specialist, sat hunched over her console, fine-tuning the array that kept them connected to Earth, millions of light-years away. They were a small crew, hand-picked for this groundbreaking mission, but the isolation had begun to wear on them all. Nova's gaze drifted to the terraforming processes scattered across the planet's surface, visible as faint lights in the distance. These massive machines worked ceaselessly, releasing carefully engineered microorganisms and chemicals to alter the planet's composition. It was a delicate process, one that would take decades to complete. But recently, the sensors had been picking up anomalies, subtle at first but growing more frequent and alarming with each passing day. Strange energy signatures, unaccounted for in their models, flickered at the edge of their instrument's range. A sudden tremor shook the base, causing alarms to blare throughout the facility. Nova steadied herself against the console as her team scrambled to identify the source. Seismic activity in Sector 7, Tessa called out, her voice tight with concern. It's not consistent with our geological predictions. Nova frowned, her mind racing. The planet had been tectonically stable when they arrived. This unexpected development could jeopardize the entire operation. As she opened her mouth to issue orders, a more violent shake rattled the structure, and the lights flickered ominously. In that moment of darkness, Nova caught a glimpse of something moving outside the window, a shadowy form that seemed to writhe and twist in ways that defied natural law. When the light stabilized, it was gone, leaving her to wonder if the stress and isolation had finally begun to play tricks on her mind. Pushing the unsettling image aside, Nova turned to her team, her voice steady despite the fear coiling in her gut. All right, people, this is what we've trained for. Arden, I want a full perimeter check. Sage, analyze those seismic readings. Tessa, send a priority message to Earth Command. We need to understand what's happening to this planet before it's too late. Little did they know, their actions had set in motion a chain of events that would challenge not only their mission, but their very survival on this alien world. Days after the initial tremors, an uneasy calm had settled over the base. Nova found herself in the hydroponics bay, surrounded by the only green on this rust-colored world. As she inspected the crops, crucial for their long-term survival, she noticed something odd. Several plants had developed unusual growths, their leaves twisted into shapes that defied her botanical knowledge. Sage joined her, his brow furrowed in concern. I've never seen mutations like this, he muttered, carefully taking samples. It's as if they're adapting to some unknown stimulus. Nova felt a chill run down her spine, remembering the strange form she'd glimpsed during the power outage. Meanwhile, Arden's security sweeps had turned up troubling findings. The perimeter sensors are malfunctioning, he reported during their daily briefing. They're picking up movement where there shouldn't be any. He pulled up a hollow map, pointing out anomalies across the terraformed zones. And there's more. Some of our outlying equipment has gone dark. When I sent drones to investigate, the footage came back, distorted. The team watched in stunned silence as Arden played the corrupted video, showing glimpses of warped metal and strange organic-looking growths on their machinery. Tessa's attempts to communicate their situation to Earth had met with frustration. There's some kind of interference, she explained, her voice tight with worry. Our long-range transmissions are being garbled. I've tried every frequency, every protocol. It's like something out there is actively blocking us. The implications of her words hung heavy in the air. They were alone, possibly cut off from any hope of support or rescue. 
Nova felt the weight of leadership pressing down on her shoulders as she saw fear and doubt creeping into her team's eyes. As the days wore on, the changes to their environment accelerated. The terraforming processes, once operating with clockwork precision, now surged with unpredictable energy spikes. The atmosphere, which they had so carefully been adjusting, began to shift in ways their models couldn't explain. Strange mists rolled across the planet's surface, carrying an acrid scent that set their nerves on edge. Even more alarming were the noises, distant unearthly sounds that echoed across the barren plains, too structured to be merely wind, yet too alien to be anything familiar. The breaking point came when Sage burst into the command center, his face pale with shock. You need to see this, he gasped, pulling up images on the main screen. They showed microscopic scans of soil samples, but what they revealed defied belief. The microorganisms they had seeded into the planet's ecosystem had changed, evolving at an impossible rate. These aren't just adapting, Sage explained, his voice trembling. They're combining with something native to this planet, something we never detected before. As the implications sank in, Nova realized with growing horror that their terraforming process hadn't just been changing the planet, it had awakened something long dormant beneath the surface. And now, that something was fighting back, using their own tools against them. The base had become a fortress under siege, with the crew barricaded inside as chaos erupted across the planet's surface. Nova stood at the command center, her face illuminated by the eerie glow of emergency lighting. The main view screen displayed a nightmarish scene, terraforming processes, once the pride of human engineering, now twisted into grotesque, pulsating forms. The alien landscape writhed with activity, as if the planet itself had come alive. Tessa's voice cut through the tense silence. Nova, we've lost contact with outposts three and five. The last transmission, it was just screaming. The weight of command pressed down on Nova's shoulders as she realized they were fighting a war they never saw coming. Arden burst into the room, his usually stoic demeanor shattered. The outer defenses have been breached, he reported, his voice tight with barely contained panic. Whatever's out there, it's not just mindless evolution. These things are coordinated, adaptive. They're learning from every attack we repel. As if to punctuate his words, a violent tremor shook the base. Alarms blared as Sage called out, structural integrity compromised in sectors two and four. The terraforming compounds, they're eating through our shields. Nova's mind raced. The very substances they had used to remake this world were now being turned against them with terrifying efficiency. In the chaos, Nova made a desperate decision. We need to shut down the terraforming network, she announced, her voice cutting through the panic. It's the only way to slow this down. The team stared at her in disbelief. Shutting down the network meant abandoning years of work, possibly dooming the mission entirely. But as another tremor rocked the base, they realized it might be their only chance at survival. Nova and Sage raced to the primary control nexus, fighting against time and the growing instability of their own creation. As they worked feverishly to disengage the systems, the walls around them began to warp and pulse, as if the very structure of the base was coming alive. Just as they were about to execute the shutdown, a chilling realization struck Sage. Nova, wait, he cried, his eyes wide with horror as he studied the data streams. The terraforming process, it's not creating these creatures, it's awakening them. This planet, it's not just rock and dust, it's alive. And we've been hurting it. The implications hit Nova like a physical blow. Their mission, their presence, everything they had done, it had all been an act of unintentional violence against a living entity. And now, that entity was fighting back with the very tools they had provided. As this revelation sank in, the room around them seemed to pulse with malevolent intent, as if the planet itself was listening to their realization. In that moment of horrified understanding, the base's defenses finally gave way. The walls burst open, not with the violence of an explosion, but with the organic, terrifying movement of growth. Tentacle-like appendages, a nightmarish fusion of technology and alien biology, reached into the room. Nova watched in frozen terror as one of these tendrils wrapped around Sage, pulling him towards the breach. She lunged for her friend, their fingers barely brushing before he was yanked into the swirling chaos outside. Nova's scream of anguish was drowned out by the sound of rending metal and the inhuman howl of the wind. 
As she stumbled back from the growing breach, a terrible choice lay before her, attempt a hopeless rescue, or make a final desperate attempt to survive and warn others of the horror they had unwittingly unleashed. In the aftermath of Sage's loss, Nova found herself in a nightmarish race against time. The base, once a beacon of human achievement, had become a labyrinth of horrors. Corridors twisted and reshaped themselves, organic growths pulsing along the walls as if the structure itself had come alive. Nova stumbled through this ever-changing maze, desperately trying to reach the emergency escape pods. Her mind reeled from the revelation that their terraforming process had awakened a slumbering planetary consciousness, one that now viewed them as an infection to be purged. Every step was a battle against encroaching tendrils and shifting floors, the planet's defenses growing more aggressive with each passing moment. Tessa's voice crackled over Nova's comm unit, distorted and fading. Nova, if you can hear me, most of the escape pods have been compromised. There's only one left operational in Sector 7. The transmission cut off abruptly, leaving Nova to wonder about the fate of her remaining crew members. As she fought her way towards Sector 7, she caught glimpses through fractured viewports of the planet's surface. The terraforming processors, now monstrous hybrids of machine and alien flesh, lumbered across the landscape. The sky boiled with unnatural storms, flashes of energy arcing between the ground and the roiling clouds. Nova realized with a sickening clarity that they hadn't been changing the planet, they had been arming it. When Nova finally reached Sector 7, she found Arden desperately trying to hold off the encroaching growths from the last escape pod. It's rigged for two, he shouted over the cacophony of alarms and inhuman sounds. We need to go now. As they fought to clear a path to the pod, Nova's gaze fell on a nearby console. It displayed the base's core systems, including the self-destruct sequence. A grim determination settled over her. Someone needed to stay behind to ensure the base was destroyed, taking with it all the research and technology that had caused this catastrophe. Before Arden could react, Nova shoved him into the pod, her voice breaking as she said, Tell them what happened here. Make sure no one ever comes back. As the escape pod jettisoned, carrying the protesting Arden to safety, Nova turned to face her final task. The base continued to warp around her, the alien presence becoming more pronounced with each passing second. She fought her way back to the command center, every step a battle against the planet's defenses. The once familiar room was now a grotesque fusion of human technology and alien biology. Nova began the self-destruct sequence, her fingers flying over the mutating console. As she worked, she felt a strange sensation. Not just the physical changes to her environment, but a growing awareness of something vast and ancient turning its attention towards her. With the self-destruct counting down, Nova allowed herself a moment of reflection. Their mission, born of humanity's noblest aspirations, had become a cautionary tale of hubris and unintended consequences. As the room around her pulsed with alien life, Nova realized that in their quest to create a new home for humanity, they had nearly destroyed a unique form of life they had never even recognized. The irony was not lost on her as the first explosions began to rock the base. In her final moments, as the structure began to collapse around her, Nova felt a strange sense of connection to the planet, a fleeting understanding of the complex alien ecosystem they had so carelessly disrupted. As darkness closed in, her last thought was a hope that humanity would learn from their tragic mistake. As the base erupted in a series of cataclysmic explosions, the escape pod carrying Arden hurtled through the turbulent atmosphere of exoplanet X-117. Inside, Arden watched in horror as the planet's surface underwent a terrifying metamorphosis. The terraforming processors, designed to bring life to this alien world, had instead spawned monstrosities beyond imagination. Massive, chimeric creatures rose from the ground, their bodies a nightmarish fusion of organic matter and machinery. These behemoths, birthed from the very technology meant to make the planet habitable, now roamed the landscape like colossal guardians of a world humanity had unwittingly corrupted. As the pod breached the upper atmosphere, Arden's sensors detected a chilling phenomenon. The planet's newly formed ecosystem was evolving at an unprecedented rate, adapting and mutating in response to the terraforming agents. What should have taken millions of years was happening in mere hours. The realization struck him with brutal clarity. Their efforts to create a new Earth had instead given birth to a new form of life, one that viewed humanity as an invasive species to be eliminated. The monsters weren't just a byproduct of their work. 
They were the intended result of a planetary defense system they had inadvertently activated. Arden's pod, now in the cold embrace of space, received a final, fragmented transmission from the planet's surface. It was Nova's voice, distorted and fading, but her words sent chills down his spine. The planet. It's alive. We woke it up. The terraforming. It's how it creates antibodies. The transmission cut off abruptly, leaving Arden with the haunting knowledge that their mission had not only failed, but had unleashed something far worse than they could have imagined. As he set course for the distant relay station that would eventually return him to Earth, he grappled with the weight of the truth he carried, a truth that would forever change humanity's approach to space exploration and colonization. Months later, as Arden's pod approached the outskirts of the solar system, Earth received its first warnings of an impending threat. Long-range scans detected anomalies at the edge of known space, massive biomechanical entities moving with purpose towards human-occupied territories. The monsters born on exoplanet X-117 had not remained confined to their world. Instead, they had evolved, adapted, and now sought to eliminate the perceived threat of humanity from the galaxy. Arden's return brought not hope, but a grim revelation. In their quest to conquer new worlds, humanity had created its own nemesis. The final irony of the exoplanet X-117 mission unfolded on a cosmic scale. The terraforming process, designed to make alien worlds suitable for human life, had instead crafted the perfect predators to hunt humanity across the stars. As Earth's defenses mobilized and colonies were evacuated, the true nature of their creation became clear. These weren't mindless monsters, but highly adaptive, intelligent beings born from humanity's own technology and the living essence of an alien world. The creatures, in all their terrifying forms, were the ultimate expression of the planet's will to survive and protect itself. In trying to reshape a world to suit their needs, humanity had given birth to a new, hostile universe, one that now sought to reshape or eliminate them in turn.